I hope everyone had a great Christmas. I know I did. Have you ever forgotten to put something on your Christmas wish list? Or maybe like in this case here, it was a little too expensive for me to ask somebody to get it for me. And then on December 26th, you start to see sale prices because they want you to buy more stuff. Everything's always discounted right after Christmas. It's a pain in the butt. I've wanted for a long time. I play Jackbox games with my friends, but it's always on one of my friend's laptops. So I've always wanted to own them myself. That way, when we host here, we can play these games. If you've not heard of them, they're like games that you would play in a large group on like a shared television screen. It's similar to if you played a board game or something like that, but it's just on the TV screen and you use your cell phone to play on the TV screen. Anyway, I woke up today and saw that they were discounted. So I was like, let's go ahead and get them. It's cheaper if we buy them all basically at one time since they're discounted on the post Christmas sale. So this is our delivery goal for the day is to pay for all these games. $128.49. That buys us all nine Jackbox game packs. Starting off with this Uber Eats delivery from IHOP. I hope I actually can hit this goal because I'm getting a later start on the day than I normally would like to. It's already almost noon. Hey there, Joe. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you too. Taco Bell is closed that's not a good sign i wasn't sure how many places in my market would be open today with it being december 26th dang maybe 128 dollars goal is going to be too high i sure hope i can get there somebody's going to be generous to us here on uber eats let's get this knocked out by 1 p.m and we will have made over 30 dollars on the first hour Hey, I'm just picking up the DoorDash for Queen B. Who's Queen B? Is, isn't that what they call Beyonce? Now I see why Beyonce tipped well. A significant amount of food right here. Arby's delivery made. I didn't film it because the uh, nice couple was standing outside ready for me. And I didn't want to be awkward about it. Got it done by 1245. So we're rolling. We're rolling. A couple generous tips are making up for the fact that uh, some restaurants are closed. On now to the, our first DoorDash of the shift. A little Roco action, roasting company. Let's Roco go. Hit and tipped on the last two orders. This Popeye's delivery here I just did was so bad. Oh my God. They had their lobby closed, but one of the employees was taking the trash out. So the door was propped open. I waited on him to come back to the door and I said, Hey, can I just come inside just to pick up this DoorDash? And she goes, our lobby's closed. You can come through the drive through and shuts the door. Just like, just like that. Just rude as crap. These crappy fast food workers that think they're more stubborn assholes than I am are sorely mistaken. <laughs> So the way I hear that is, okay, you just gave me permission to walk up to your drive through window then, if you want to be difficult. One of three things are going to happen. One, I'm going to stand there in front of your window and wait until the person in the car behind me gets so irritated that they run me over. Two, you're going to have to get law enforcement to come ask me to get off the property. Or three you're gonna give me the freaking food. So thankfully this time nothing crazy happened and I out stubborn asshole, the stubborn asshole, and she gave me the food. But yeah, it was like a 10 or 15 minute wait. I'm just standing there in front of the car behind me that I had just walked in front of and cut off. And I do not feel bad about it. Y'all can throw shade at me in the comments if you want to. If you're gonna have your lobby closed, you're doing what's best for you, I'm gonna do what's best for me. Trust me. I do not care. This order came through as I was talking. I happen to be sitting here at Target already. Let's go shopping. One of my goals for 2023 is to start getting these altercations that I have on camera because they're good content. So pretty shortly here, I, I'll have a second phone because I know a lot of GigTubers like have a camera that they use to film because they've got to run DoorDash on their phone, but I record with the same phone that I accept my orders on, which makes it difficult. Look at the freaking line. There's the end of the line. I don't know if this is gonna be worth it. 
they didn't have the item the customer wanted anyway so I just unassigned the order and we had a really good start to the shift but now it's just it's just been average at this point but anyway yeah I'll have two phones that way I can have one just devoted to taking care of the gig work and the other devoted to taking care of filming my every action taking this order to Heartlands just to get us back moving again hey there enjoy another 50 cent hidden tip it's been nice and steady this afternoon multi-apping has kept me busy look at this order right here this is next up from uber eats All right, so I powered through those couple bad orders and then we just got hot right there. So we're we're having a good shift again. It's 340. I figure I'm doing well enough that I think I can hit the goal and still take a little bit, bit of a break here. So I'm pulling up at the house so that we can go walk the dogs and then I'll get back out here for dinner. And by that time, the Uber Eats tips will be official. So I can find out really exactly where we are right now because I'm not sure. I lost count at a certain point. So um, we're gonna do a dog walk. If you're not interested in watching the dog walk, skip ahead 20 seconds. Back in the car. All right, so as you can see from the Uber Eats tip that came in, we got a uh, bonus tipped a little bit on that $11 delivery. Man, it's a little cold outside. That puts us exactly at $91 earned today. So we're on the home stretch here for the dinner shift that uh, I'm gonna start once we get these dogs dropped off at home. I should be able to make these last $40 I need for the goal in two hours or less that's what i'm hoping for i don't want to be out too much longer after the sun goes down picking up the empire pizza i saw a really nice guy and i saw him with a bunch of hot bags and i was asking him about if he did lop i was like how'd you get your hot bags long story short he just he gave me one he just straight up gave me a new hot bag which is different and bigger than the original one DoorDash sent me. That was incredibly nice. I told him about the YouTube channel because of my sweatshirt. If you're watching this video, hit me up in the comments. I, I got 50 bucks for you. I'm gonna get you 50 bucks because that was super nice. You didn't have to do that. Generosity pays, my friends. I'm gonna be giving back to this YouTube community as many times as I can possibly afford throughout the decades that I do this. And so if you're watching, bro, let me know how I can get you 50 bucks. I was on the phone so I couldn't film it, but I took care of this Golden Corral order and now we are heading to Hickory Tavern for another good looking Uber Eats order. Uber Eats has been uh, carrying a lot of the load today for me. How's it going? Y'all got the wrong address on the thing. Just Ooh. update that for you. Yeah, that's why I kept circling back and forth. I was like, it's not 26. So, If you're a customer and you've got the wrong address for your delivery driver to take the food to, tip extra when they find you it's an uber delivery order so i'm crossing my fingers maybe he'll go in there and adjust the tip and uh bonus tip me since i let him know hey man you've got the wrong address in there and he said that that had been a repeated problem that people were having trouble finding his house yeah man it's it's the wrong number on now to freddy's for a stack order pickup once we get these two done we'll be awfully close to today's goal at the first stack order drop off i'm so close to the second house physically but look at all this driving i have to do to actually get to it i gotta go all the way around i wish i could just walk through people's backyards to walk to that other house ah that is so aggravating to be that close and then have to drive three miles this will be my final order before we review today's shift numbers. Not a great order, but I like it because it delivers to my neighborhood. So I'll have no ride home, you know, I'm, I'll be right there. 
there we go we got it done in less than two hours so when i get home we'll review the numbers back at the house we ended up making 135 dollars today through the three food delivery service apps we did it in 5.4 hours over the lunch and dinner shifts that's 25 dollars an hour goal achieved today we got all of our jackbox games paid for thank you guys for watching i will see you next time on wealthy Something yet is cool, fucking suits me. Swag too, but and yet